we go. It has been a minute, my friends, but I have to make a video because of what has just been released. So, if you guys know, I have been flying FPV for about one year now, transitioning from the world of videography and filmmaking. And today, DJI, after about a year or two of releasing their very first FPV product, AKA the FPV goggles HD, which changed the game and pretty much dominated the market because of their amazing digital technology has released their very first FPV drone. And yesterday, after all the specs were released, it was officially announced by DJI, it's on sale. I was really, really curious about exactly what it would be like to be around it. And I got the opportunity to go out with my friends, Levi and Kelvin of Newbie Drone, and we got to test out the DJI FPV drone. Before we start, I wanted to welcome you guys to my channel. My name is Kai. I've been flying FPV for about one year now, and it's been a wild ride. It is taken over my life in a sense. And I'm coming from the background of filmmaking and videography, but through this journey, I've met so many different people with so many different intentions of FPV, whether it be racing or freestyle or manufacturing, you name it. A drone is a drone and you can do whatever you want with it. But for me personally, I am trying to extend my vocabulary and the possibilities of filmmaking with FPV drones. If you ever watch anime or you're a fan of anime or you watch my first video talking about FPV, you know that the reason why I was so obsessed into it immediately was because of the possibilities that this brings cinematographically and how shots in anime and these animations and cartoons are now suddenly possible if you can control this drone properly. There are very mixed reviews. Let me tell you at the very beginning, of all the people who are in FPV, I haven't been hearing the best things about it. And with good reason, because up until this point, if you wanted to get into FPV, if you watched my previous video of my journey, you had to learn how to build the parts. You had to learn how to pick the parts, assemble it without blowing it up, and then put it all together and get a good shot. There's a huge learning curve because you're basically building the drone from the ground up. But now what DJI has done with many of their beautiful products is through the technology and their R&D and research and feedback, they have created an end-to-end -end drone system that you can now just take and go for it. And you can learn along the way. This is incredibly different from anything we've experienced in FPV before. And so question for today is, is the DJI system for you? Because although it is a end-to-end all-in-one drone kit package, there are still some things that it doesn't come with and there are many things that it does come with that others don't. So we're weighing those pros and cons in this video today and we'll help you come to your own conclusion. First of all, when we're comparing DJI FPV drones to your custom built FPV drones, it's like comparing a custom built car to a Tesla or a custom built phone or an Android that is made from a bunch of the best parts to an iPhone. You don't get to choose what goes into an iPhone. You just choose the model and you're good to go. And because of Apple's amazing um, research and design and proprietary systems, they create a fully closed system that is able to do all these crazy things that your average Joe would not be able to do. And if we're talking about the DJI FPV drone specifically, we're looking at a cross hybrid between this Mavic and this a custom built drone and it combined it and had a baby and now it's ready for you to fly. Right off the bat, I can think of one group of people that this drone is perfect for and that is beginners who haven't started FPV who are looking to get their first drone. If you have the budget, which is $1,300 base price, it comes with the goggles, it comes with the drone, and it comes with the transmitter. That's everything you need to go out and fly. If you're trying to build your own and you don't buy a full kit, you're gonna have to buy a pair of goggles that you have to select from a variety. You have to buy all the parts of a drone from the motors to the frame, to the controller, to the board, to the air unit, and it's a longer process. Um, so if you're a beginner and you don't want to learn how to solder and you don't want to learn how to build, then this is perfect for you. And on top of that, if you're learning how to fly for the first time, it is not an easy task. You're gonna have to use a simulator or you're gonna have to crash a bunch of times. You don't wanna crash a DJI FPV drone. As we've seen in previous videos and flying and people crashing like Joshua Bardwell, uh, he hit his arm on a tree and it automatically snapped. So it is fragile, especially compared to these carbon fiber frames that these FPV drones are typically made of. The cool thing about the DJI FPV drone system is that it comes with its own simulator that you can use with the DJI FPV V2 goggles. So once you do finally decide to get out of the simulator and fly, unlike these racing drones where you really have to control it and understand your acro or 
horizon attitude mode that you decide to choose this dji fpv drone is going to fly itself for you in normal mode until you're ready to move on you can move on to sport mode which will allow it to move forward like an fpv drone and then when you're ready ready to fly then you can switch it to manual mode and turn off the uh angle mode and once you do that you're able to flip and do all these things so it really walks you through the process and dji just because of how amazing their development team is has made it so easy for beginners to get into fpv drone bottom line guys if you are a beginner or even not a beginner just looking to fly for cinematography or just to cruise or have that awesome fpv immersive feeling you aren't planning on crashing a million times flipping over and trying to do turtle mode which these things can't the dji fpv combo cannot this is almost it's almost a no-brainer and it was really hard for me to believe that at first just because of how different and how brittle the dji fpv drone is but considering how smart it is and how many different features it has and just how clean it looks professional um, compact and easy to use which easy to use is better for everybody not just for newbies but for people who are just trying to get a shot and try to screw in their props instead of taking that prop tool and screwing it out you just pop it out just like these mavic drones you know such such a smart design so i don't know man if you're in the fpv world a lot of people are skeptical that this is going to do much but I'm a champion for anything that pushes this craft forward and makes our lives safer and easier. So this may not be the end all be all. I'm still, I'm not, I'm on the fence about buying the DJI FPV combo myself because I'm trying to invest in um, other equipment that I will show you guys soon. Uh, I think it's actually a very exciting project I'm working on now that a DJI FPV drone cannot achieve yet. But there are so many things that the DJI FPV drone offers that these cannot and probably will not anytime soon i remember when the dji fpv system with the goggles and everything came out and a lot of people were bagging on it they had a lot of negative things to say because it was different and it did not look like anything else that had previously come out they were using a completely different technology um, coming from a completely different route but now a year or two later a majority of fpv pilots who are serious about this have transitioned to fpv goggles and i feel like we may see something similar happen in the future. So if you've been waiting to pull that trigger on FPV, this might be your time. And I think it's a good choice. I, I think it's a great choice. Um, I'm on the fence about it. I'm very tempted to get it just to experiment to see what's possible with it that is not possible with this. We're just scratching the surface. And needless to say, I am excited. I just want to say thank you to Newbie Drone for the opportunity to test the DJI FPV combo and to Beagle Drones and to all of my friends who have helped me get this far into FPV because I'm super grateful for the journey. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I'm grateful for the knowledge I was granted, um, not having to just plug and play and actually have to build my own drone because I think that's going to be a very helpful tool in the long run, especially as someone who's trying to do this professionally. But also huge shout out to DJI for once again, changing the paradigm of this entire genre. And we are entering a new age. Um, and I'm excited to see it. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome FPV stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.